holy crap wow, i haven't done that in so long what is going on Ew, oh god do i even say it do i even say my intro oh my god what's up guys um i'm back i'm gonna make this video kind of quick uh i wanted to make it like very relevant with the memes and the culture and everything but i'm just gonna keep it simple i might do a little edits in there results whenever I got them uh, I got my results uh, two days ago two three day, two two or three days ago so it's not gonna be like oh my god reaction kind of video I already know my percentages and I'm just kind of making it I can't, I'm still ecstatic about it okay for one I'm still so it, it's the, the results are crazy because all my like in my entire life and I'm pretty sure everyone that's you know taken these tests over over the years have felt the same way as I do or maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. Anyway, um, my personal reason is in my entire life, I've had no idea what I am. Obviously, I'm dark, you know, I'm dark skin. Obviously, I'm African American. Obviously, I'm black, whatever you want to call it. Okay, obviously, <laughs> that's it. That's the case. And that's all I knew that I might be, I, you know, that I'm black and that I possibly might be Indian, Cherokee, that, that's the main thing, that's the thing we always claim, okay? I'm gonna stereotype, that's the thing we always claim, that, that that's not the case, and in, in, in this year, my cousin, or my mom's cousin, my second cousin, she's been doing a little digging uh, herself and doing some research on my mom's side of the family. That's cool and dandy and all, but that doesn't tell me anything about myself, you know? It, it gives me an idea where my mom's side of the family came from, but it still doesn't define everything that I want to know, you know what I mean? So that's why I decided to finally take this test. I started watching videos on YouTube, started researching what the results would look like and everything, you know, that comes with the test, with the kit, what you have to do, how long you have to wait, just everything. So I finally got the results back after doing everything. I'm going to inco uh, incorporate the video right now for... Anyway, uh, let me stop. <laughs> let me let me stop rambling. I could ramble on forever about this. We're gonna go to my results, and boom! Look at that. Check that out. So I got it back, and obviously, Africa is gonna be my main ethnic estimate right there. Obviously, right? <laughs> no surprise there. I actually knew about that. But it's cool because you know it breaks it down. And if you guys are thinking about getting this test, I do recommend it. And it's really cool. I haven't checked 21 and Me. I think that's what it's called, or anything else like that. But I mean, this is so this is so cool. This is so cool. I'll say because you know, you know you're black, you know you're white, you know you're Mexican, you know. But now you know what form of that you are, what ethnicity you are within that region. I got Benin, Tong uh, Benin in Togo. I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names. I am not good with pronunciations. But uh, we got Benin in Togo at 24%, uh, Africa at 78% in total, so boom, Africa, boom, me. <laughs> I got Mali at 17%, and it even tells you the region, if you guys are looking over here to the right, you can see what region in Africa it's, it's located in. So predominantly my, my ancestors, according to my DNA, I can't tell you exactly for sure, but according to this, according to what they've given me, and according to all this right here, I've stayed on the coast. My people have loved the water, apparently. We love the water, my ancestors. So, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't like the water right now, personally, so I don't know where that, they, they got all that from, but, uh, you know, I don't like the water. <laughs> so, we got Cameroon and Congo at 13%. And again, right there, you can see it on the coast. I got Africa, Africa's southeastern ba Bantu, Bantu, Bantu. I've heard Bantu, so I'm gonna go with Bantu at 7%. Uh, we got Ivory Coast and Ghana at 6%. And we got Nigeria at 5%, my lowest one. Uh, well, lowest one out of the main ones. Now, I'm, I'm gonna kind of butcher the top ones right here that you see and then these low confidence regions so these ones right here they're a higher percentage because they are a higher percentage chance of the stuff that i have that that they are confident enough that right here that my dna results will match these and then you know the higher it goes obviously the 
more it's going to match to you. And right here we have these low confidence regions, which I'm going to open these. And these ones are something that I might possibly have, but possibly might not have. This one's at 3%, so I'm still going to say that I might just have these in me, but very, very, very minute chance that I might not. Like this Africa North, uh, what is this? Uh, Morocco, Western uh, Sahara, I might not have that because it's less than 1%. But I have Senegal at 3%, and then I have uh, Africa South Central Hunter Gatherers at 2%. I've been looking at other people's, like I've been saying at the beginning of this, and it's just crazy how all different we are, how all the percentages are just so different across every spectrum, across everyone. It's just crazy. So I have Asia, another a low confidence region, may or may not have people from this region and this region is the Indian, Pakistan, Nepal, uh, Bhutan, Bhutan? I, I might be butchering that. <laughs> you guys you guys can see that though. you guys can see it right there. Now the thing that shocked me I mean that that's pretty that's pretty weird too but I recently found out that most Asians came from Africa. Well ev everyone came from Africa. I, I don't know don't I'm not getting in a geography lesson here okay I, I don't know nothing. <laughs> uh, this shocked me, okay? It makes sense when you think about it, but it still shocked me how much, like, Europe I have, like, European that I have in me. Like, it's, it's, what? What? <laughs> now, get this. My last name is Evans, okay? E-V-A-N-S. I researched surnames. Evans is from Wales. So when I got this back, and... I have 8% Ireland, like, from, I'm 8% from Ireland. <laughs> it's just like, whoa, okay, that makes sense now. My last name is Evans, from Ireland, from, from Wales, and Ireland and Scotland, as you can see right there, 8%. Now, wh what did I say about the top ones over here? The 5% and up is most likely that you have those. And my Ireland is right here at the top at 8%. So, I mean, it's crazy that, so there's a 8% chance that I'm probably from there. So that's cool. And we got low confidence regions. So that's 18% is, is a pretty good chunk. It, I'll get down to the bottom in a second and I'll, I'll tell you why I'm surprised by that. Now, also, if, if you're surprised and you're not because slavery was a thing, okay? Slaves got brought everywhere. Just interrelationships and intermingling, it happened. It, it's expected but again that's just that's just such a crazy number and just wait I, we started it right here in, in africa right all right check this out so we got ireland somehow it went right over here right there to there it's crazy and then we go to the little confidence region so we went from ireland boom well i mean not not in this order but okay we got people here in ireland we got people here in west uh europe west which is france germany netherlands switzerland we got people over here in great britain at three percent England, Scotland, uh, yeah, Scotland and Wales. Okay, we got people in fin Finland, less than 1% though, so probably not, but still. <laughs> we got Finland, Russia, we got 1% again, Iberian Peninsula, Spain, Portugal, and we got European Jewish at 1%, Poland, uh, Belarus, Ukraine, Russia, Hungary, oh my gosh. Now, this next one. It ticked me off just a bit. It, it ticked me off just a little bit. Because like I was saying, I've been taught my entire life that I'm black and Indian to some extent. Because my great-grandmother apparently was pretty good chunk Indian, if not full. I don't know. I never met her. I didn't get to meet her. But anyway, um, I was always told that. And so when I saw this over here in America, I was like, low confidence region. BS, dude. No way. As so I go here... And I'm less than 1% Native American. Like, what? Dude, less than 1%. That's... My, my life is a lie. My life is a lie. So less than 1% African. Or, I'm sorry, Native American. That's, that's so crazy. I was so mad about that. Like, it's crazy. Like, the only thing I can think of is it, it just got diluted. But that's crazy, because why do I still have more of other regions, say, for, you know, Europe, for instance, why do I have more, you know, Scott, Scott or Wales or, you know, I Irish in me than I do, you know, Native, in Native American? I don't know. My history is totally 
so I don't, I don't know who moved where, where moved, how, why, where first, you know, what happened to which, but it's crazy. It's crazy. Man. Anyway, uh, Pacific Islander at less than 1%. I got uh, Polynesia, which is pretty cool, located somewhere. So we started right here in Africa. Somehow we went over here, up there to, to Ireland. Then we just went in the middle of Europe, and then we went from the middle of Europe to America, and then from America, or wherever, whatever sequence, down over here to these little small islands. Man, I tell you, my people like the water, man. But this, this is still a less than 1% chance, so it's still a chance that I might not even be that at all. And then over here, uh, I don't know how to say this, I'm gonna butcher it, Caucasus. C-A-U-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-A-C-